So we want to update the power, the DJI power th thing. So I'm going to go into Google here and search for the app here, DJI Home app. Here, DJI Home app, DJI Home Download Center. That's on the DJI page. Download Android APK. This is oh, it's an exclusive designed by only in the DJI App Store. Download app. Is that it? DJI Store, try virtual flight. That's not it. Well, you know, we are in the App Store. DJI Home app, Android APK, accept all, privacy, this is the app, downloading file, see notification, download status, 27 megabyte APK, is this the programming thing or what? That is not an app to install, is it? What is this? Package installer. The form is not allow permissions. Install. Installing DJI Home. App installed. Done. Okay. So there must be now a DJI Home app somewhere. There, a DJI Home app. There we go. I agree to everything. I don't care. Email, phone number, log in or register, and I agree with everything. So let me tie this first. So I'm logging in now. I allow everything. So there it is. And now it tries to connect to uh, Bluetooth to this thing. So, but I have to put the dongle in first, right? So let's see how that goes. So it wants to plug in the dongle. Now, if you have, like me, two of those solar converter attachments, oh, we have to take those out. There you go. One you can leave in, but we want to put the dongle in. There, and then we have to turn the machine on. And then we are waiting for this dongle here. It says connecting via Bluetooth. The dongle doesn't come on. See that? There's no light on the dongle. And um, <clears throat> so this is not going to work. Device info, device offline, firmware update, device offline. Energy management, general settings, everything is offline. So <clears throat> it's looking for the dongle. But if the light doesn't come on here, then you're out of luck. This is not going to work. You need to update this thing to the latest software. And that doesn't work with a dongle if the dongle doesn't work on here. So what you need to do is you need to have a laptop and connect the laptop to it and do an update via USB cable and update this thing to the latest software first. So let's see how this works now. I have the laptop ready. There is the DJI Assistant 2 power suite, like power series. That is uh, the software that comes from the DJI page. You can download that. And then what we have to do is we have to turn off the this thing here, the system, and we have to push and hold here the AC button and the on button at the same time. And we get here a load indicator. So load means you can connect your laptop. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna connect the laptop. And then this power device here should show up in here, and it does. 
click on there once and then it loads the data for it. And we are seeing we have software 10006 and now we have 15 as a new software. So we can say upgrade here. Upgrade. Do this and then it's updating. So now it's transferring from the computer to this thing, the software. It does that and then it starts the update. Now, important to notice that during an update, you have to have the power plugged in so that the power part gets updated. So I'm going to do that here. Okay, so the power is in here and then it goes through six steps. Six one, this is step six one. So one of six steps, right? This is step two. Step three already. Step four, the battery is getting updated. And here you see the percentage of how far we are in step four. When we're done with step four, we go to step five. There we go, 90%, 90%, 90, 89, 99, 100% for step four. It does flash and reboot. And then we get to step five. It all does that automatically. You just have to uh, bring time to do this. So number five is updating. That was so quick. Now it goes to number six. Number six is the ACDC update. Okay. It takes a little longer here. Look at that. It updates a little longer. And once the update is done and it reboots, then your dongle should work. And <clears throat> then we go and see from there how that works, how that does. But you can see already it takes a few, little bit of time here for this update. Nothing is going to happen on your Windows PC. Here, there we are going. This is going to do it here. I wonder if I can change my brightness, then the display is not too much. Oh, you can see that better, right? See how long this takes. Looks like it takes a minute. Very slow. So I'm going to have a pause here. The video to speed things up, right? I'm going to log in here again when it's at 99%. The speed and how this progresses is... Um, on and off, like it's slow and fast and slow and fast. So it doesn't mean uh, it takes super long because the first steps are slow, the first percentages. The point is when this is done, it will reboot and charge immediately. So if you're at 50% battery and it reboots and switches after the update to, to update done, you will see the percentage flickering there, but that is a percentage of charge. So to charge this thing up. You will see this in a second. So we're going up to 99 and then 100%. Then it reboots. And now it goes to charging mode. So I'm at 69% charge. And it's going to start charge charging, right? And now in this moment, when we are going to start charging the laptop too. Okay, so all this is not actually working anymore. This app is going back to to zero because we are not in the load thing here where it says load, right? In order to go there, we have to unplug the power again. Turn this thing off, push and hold up here. Push those two buttons at the same time. There we go, load. And then we see our DJI app in here. It goes and now it says we are on 10015 software. That's where we are. Okay, so we are good here. Go back. Get out of this. Yes, we can quit. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, let's unlock this. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn my laptop off, shut down, because I don't need this. And then here we push on hold to turn this thing completely off. That takes a long time. When I turn this off, this thing should come on. When I turn it on, no. Let me turn on. This thing should light up. And it does, you see that, right? So now I'm gonna go here with my phone to this DJI Home app. Here it says connecting via Bluetooth. Now it says connected. And it shows everything in here, right? Input, output. You see that it does work now, right? Okay, and then we go here, firmware update, power station, current version, a dongle version is up to date. We can put one of our solar pieces in here. It should update here too. Firmware update, yeah, it doesn't do this. Device info. Dongle, firmware version of the dongle. Oh, you can copy the name out there. But I didn't recognize this one here, not this device. Let's see if we go back in here. Device info, name, dongle version, firmware update, power station dongle. So it doesn't show the charger. The, Solar power charger, right? Maybe it shows this one. <clears throat> Maybe we have to get out of this app, back into the app, and then in here, device info. Oh, here, accessory up there, see that? Type DJI Power Solar, firmware version 16.11.0022. It doesn't show if there is newer software available or not, but I assume when there is software, they would show that. Okay, so now you have here all the info you need within this app. Okay, now, what about two of those solar chargers? You know, I have two on here. You cannot plug this in because now the Bluetooth dongle is blocking it. So you can only use the one to charge it. If you're like me and you need two to charge it, then you cannot use your dongle. So that's kind of annoying. Let's turn this off. Pull this out. That's hard already. And I tell you, this one, to pull this out, it's crazy. There it is. So now I could run both of those at the same time. And I'm happy. But this one, yeah, it blocks your part, right? This stuff here should be integrated in the whole thing. It should be inside of it. They forgot. Hmm. Yeah, I can't have everything, I guess.